Right, we're in Scotland. It's been a while since I was up here. That's not bad, is it? Better than Mel Gibson in Braveheart, surely. <laughs> and today we're going to uh, to do another food challenge. Natch. It's early, as you can tell it's early. <laughs> Scotland's a long drive. How would you know you didn't drive it? <laughs> Good catch. Safe hands. Ah, oh, look, there we go. The man himself. Randy Cutter. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm at a place called Hogan's today, and I'm doing the, I actually don't know what it's called, the humongous sandwich challenge, I think, judging by the wall. <laughs> you're, you're watching one of my videos right now. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> All right, so uh, today I'm at a place called Hogan's Sandwich Bar, Sandwich and Burger Bar, which is in Kilmarnock. Was that any good? Yeah, he said it was good. <laughs> What are the rules? I have to do, uh, I have to do it in 30 minutes or something, or? 24-31. Oh, so you have to beat the, yeah. the existing record. 24-31. And that's Randy. Uh-huh. Ran uh, so I've got to beat Randy's time. And what, what happens if I, if I do it? If you do it, beat Randy's time, get 100 quid. Ooh. So without further ado, it's baby food, and this is uh, Hogan's Giant Breakfast Sandwich Challenge. Who's <laughs> gonna? I'm trying to make like a. Oh, it's quite hot. I'm gonna try and make a big sandwich out of it. I'll go with this top layer first. You ready? Yeah. yeah. It's too. Ah, it's so bad. We welcome back to another episode. And uh, by the way, I promise that I will. Uh, I'll refrain from doing a Scottish accent at least for the next five minutes. <laughs> anyway, today we're in uh, Kilmarnock at Hogan's Breakfast and Burger Bar, doing uh, an incredibly famous food challenge, which despite numerous attempts, has not been, well, it's only been beaten once in the past six years. <laughs> I'm gonna have to let some of the heat out because it's really hot. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. Just a, a wild flailing of your limbs. That should cool it down. <laughs> right, this is the, uh, this is the long sausage, right? Yeah. The proper stuff. Good, I like it. <laughs> That's good because it's for us. <laughs> yeah, finally getting my chops around some proper lawn sausage. So that should keep the Scottish food purists happy. Anyway, let's talk about the, uh, the food challenge. This is a really famous one. It's been around for six years, no less. And originally the rules were you just have to finish it inside 30 minutes. And uh, not only do you get the meal free, free t-shirt and a 100 quid cash prize, but then along came the inimitable Randy Melvin Santel. That's right. And uh, he managed, to, <laughs> he managed to, uh, to do it in 24 minutes and 31 seconds. So now in order to win, you have to beat that time. And this thing is it's just a, a big breakfast sandwich with a bunch of beans. You get 10 slices of bread, lawn sausage, black pudding, regular sausage, bacon, eggs, the works, you name it, it's on there. The owner's got some belief in me. Let's hope so, that is um, the idea after all. Anyway, I mean, this food, I've got to say, it was delicious. The standout ingredient for me was a black pudding. You know I'm a big fan of black pudding anyway. But this was from a local butcher, apparently, and it had a really nice rustic vibe to it, and it was very keen, very tasty. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about me. It's the uh, the room service staff at the hotel you should feel sorry for. Actually, you know what would be a, a, a great title for a musical adaptation of my life? Don't cry for me, toilet cleaner. <laughs> I've got a little crowd now, so... <laughs> I better look nice and tidy. Yeah, doing my best to stay sexy. We've got a small gathering outside now. And uh, we English folk already have a, a pretty bad rep north of the border, so... I thought she'd be my best behaviour. I don't think she's a fan. How is this little steam coming off this? I'm on Randy's side. 
Oh. That's not even a joke. Can I get a diet coke? Okay. Oh, anything without calories, you know. What, what's your my figure? <laughs> I must have used that joke about 30, 30 times. Thanks for it. Straight out of chapter one of the Dad Joke Playbook. That's a classic. <laughs> the guy that just came into the shop there, by the way, is the same guy that was on the... Uh, there was a close-up earlier in the video of a FaceTime call, and uh, that guy's uh, apparently a really big fan of videos. So much so that um, once one of the customers in the shop FaceTimed him uh, to show that I was there, he ran down to the shop to watch, <laughs> which was, um, of course, pretty cool. What's the real name for these things? Tatty scones. Yeah, tatty scones, that's it. Or as they're more officially known, potato scones. But I love these things. It's very rare that I actually get the chance to eat them, but... Um, they are, they're kind of chewy in the middle, which sounds unpleasant, but they're actually really quite Moorish. Hey, man. Better get going. Yeah, this black pudding is unreal. It's amazing. Yeah, I've got a bit of a, a kink for uh, for black pudding, as you could probably tell. <laughs> but this stuff was lovely. I could eat some of it now. Anyway, we're almost done now. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. I know, well, no, because I know Randy's a big fan of the channel. So if I leave any debris, he's going to kick off, so... <laughs> Randy's burst off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da